everybody think that the real good, the real geniuses will kind of just have a full-fledged vision from the beginning. Like the film is here and we just need to get it on screen. And in my opinion, that's kind of a, it's not like, it's an illusion, it's not like that. That's not how it works. So I work with, the guy I work with that came up with the greatest ideas and most original films, the one who's closest to a genius is Lars von Trier. And, and when he, when we started on Melancholia, he said, I know absolutely nothing about this film. I only know, so, so I said, ah, come on, you know a little bit. I, I only know that I want it to be in two parts. There should be two sisters. One should be the main character in the first part and the other should be in the second part. And then I know that it should begin with a wedding and it should end with a collision of Earth and another planet. And, and you know, that was what he knew, nothing more. But the thing is, you can see he was a genius or close to a genius, Lars, you're not a genius, just close to a genius. So, you know, because he had a beginning and an ending. And so few people have an idea with a beginning and an ending. So few, it's so rarely, you know, I read hundreds of scripts. It's so rarely that you have the beginning and the end.